Today, October 9th, is Hangul Day. The Korean alphabet is considered by some experts as the most scientific and logical writing system in the world. To preserve it for the next generation, many faced grave challenges and had to endure twists and turns over centuries. Oh Jung-hee provides a closer look into the history and significance of Hangul. The Korean alphabet was developed by King Sejong the Great, who officially proclaimed the new writing system in 1446. It was originally called Hunmin Jeongum, a name referring to a way for the people to write that reflects the proper pronunciation of the Korean language. Prior to King Sejong's invention, Koreans had to use Chinese characters for their written language, something not everyone could afford the time to learn, so the written word was largely by and for the elite. The use of Chinese characters also meant that the Korean language wasn't always expressed accurately. The study of Hunmin Jeongum was really popularized in the early 20th century, promoting literacy among the masses. Researchers at the time changed the name of the Korean alphabet to Hangul, which means roughly a script that is without equal. Under Japanese colonial rule, Koreans began publishing more things in Hangul, like newspapers, pamphlets, and poetry. In 1926, they observed the first Hangul Day to commemorate King Sejong's invention and revive the national spirit. Hun Min Jeongum is very special because it's the only document in human history that records when, how, and by whom an alphabet was created. Also, the introduction of letters made reading and writing available to everyone, not just the upper class, which was a revolutionary change for the whole society. The Korean alphabet is now known as the world's most scientific, and relics related to its invention can be seen at the National Hangul Museum. The most precious one is the Hunmin Jeongum Hedye, the document published in 1446 explaining how Hangul was made. In 1997, it was listed in UNESCO's Memory of the World. The museum also has the first song written in Hangul in 1447 and one of the first Hangul-only newspapers from the early 1900s. The relics we have here, dating back centuries, demonstrate our ancestors' efforts first to make Hangul and then to preserve and secure it during the Japanese colonial period. Without words and letters to write down language, knowledge can't be exchanged or preserved, which will limit development in all areas of life and society. This is why Korea has designated Hangul Day as a national holiday to celebrate and appreciate the Korean alphabet and to hope for further development of our language. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.